first of all, we're going to sh show a very strong um, sense of pride and professionalism. We always, always strive to be professional. We will go through your entire AC system, air handler, which is the part that uh, handles the air. Basically, it could be in a garage or an attic uh, or in a closet in the house. That's that's called the air handler. Uh, and usually, typically, uh, I will start there. Different people have different uh, ways they want to do it, but I will usually start there. And we open open the cabinet up. We go through the entire thing. We will pull out blowers. We'll pull out heaters. Uh, what we're looking for is evidence of bacteria or or dust and dirt that's gotten in there that we can suggest ways to uh, to clean up. And uh, we will uh, check out all the all the electrical wiring. Um, make sure everything's clean and tight. Uh, look to see if the blower is dirty. We have uh, four hour windows, 10 to 2, 2 to 4, or 2 to 6, okay? Typical four hour windows. And that's uh, important to, for the customer to understand that that is the window at which we will arrive, okay? That doesn't necessarily mean that uh, uh, we will be done within that time frame. It typically takes a, a good hour, hour and a half to do a maintenance. But uh, it's important, again, for the customer to understand that we're going to arrive in that time window. I strongly believe in educating the client. Um, one of the strong things, the biggest things that I educate the client on is drain line maintenance. Uh, there's, there's something called a float switch uh, that many customers don't even realize that they have. And if the system's uh, in a garage or a closet or something like that, uh, I explain the operation of the switch, um, You know what they can expect, uh, what happens if their system quits all of a sudden, something that they can do to uh, check to see if maybe they can help us out before we get there and say, okay, I've, I've looked at my float switch, it's full of water, it's something we might. So uh, air conditioning systems in Florida take a beating. Uh, you know, life expectancy, uh, it could be anywhere from eight to 12 years or even less. Uh, so it's very, very important uh, to, uh, to make sure that we do this maintenance and to make sure that you know when we uh, when a maintenance is scheduled try not to put it off uh, uh, too long you know everybody has uh, schedule changes and things like that but uh, you know make sure that we get out get out there and do that maintenance because uh, it's like I said it's uh, air conditioning systems work so hard in Florida